What do you think guys? Do you like what I see? So this is my progress one. I'm still drawing now, still trying finishing one day, hopefully, one day. If I'm not giving up, I don't know. Sometimes I just give up on them. So I was drawing this and I was thinking I need to make a video about more explaining what I'm doing, how I'm doing, how I'm planning, what I'm not planning and just stuff like that. It might work for some of you, it might not even be close to the tactics what you do, but that's up to you guys. It's just I'm gonna share what I'm doing and that's it. See it all begins all begins with like just uh sketchy lines like you see, hopefully you can see all them sketchy lines down here, down there, down there. So the way I do it is I don't really plan the whole thing as one thing like the plan at the beginning was to do this first, the street light, the lamp, whatever we call it. And I didn't even want it to finish like anything else, to do anything else. So I posted on Instagram, people said I need to add some more stuff. And uh, I was like, okay, cool, what else can I put on? So I just put, put some peonies down here, down there. Balance it out with like leaves to leave, that to that, that to that. Just all looks nice and balanced and stuff like that. And, um, like, I think that's the easiest way for me is just to get loose drawing and I just crack on. I'm not the guy who plans, like, this gonna be here, that gonna be, that gonna be, that gonna be. Just, you can forget about that, yeah? The image you see in your head, it's not gonna be ever on your paper, yeah? Because in your head, you see all 3D, all, like, planned and all there. But by the time you start doing actually all them little bits... You make new decisions. You're thinking, oh, fuck this. I don't want to do that. You do this instead. And that instead of that. That instead of that. Da, 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 da. So before you even know it, that image in your head is not the image on the paper. And then you start freaking out, thinking like you can't draw or you can't. Like, da, 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 da. But that's the progress. That's how it goes. Like every painter as well. Like they paint five times one of the same thing because they just make new decisions. And so... If you like get frustrated like you can't get the image in your head on a paper and just forget it. It's not gonna happen, never gonna be, unless you're extremely professional and like I don't know, you've done millions of millions of times and this is gonna be like another one. But not for me. Never gonna be for me. I just I just crack on. Like even down here you can see all them little lines. I didn't even need to do that. Say so I change that to that, that to that, that to that. Some of the lines didn't even exist. I just added added to them. So, like that one. I just wiped that out. Forget it. That's not going to be that. So, that's my way I'm doing it. I just, I got kind of idea what I want to see. And I just, I don't know. Watch a surprise. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know how it's going to be. But all you're going to do is just make it pretty. Make it nice. Make it clean. Clean as like anything you can really produce and that's it it's gonna look good so this is not finished i still need to do add some like couple hours more get like more shading in here and put bits there and but yeah that's as far as this goes what i've been using is 0 0.8 fine liner 0 0.03 that's 08 blah 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 some of those 0. yeah 0 0.03 there's 0 0.08 and uh, yeah, a big one, tiny one. So far, no pencil for shading, just fine liners and love it. We'll see how it turns out in the future. And then there's this bad boy. So the story behind this one is I was I went out for fag between my tattoos. And I was thinking like, damn, loads of people do like wristband tattoos. You know, when they get like a forearm, like top and the bottom. And I was like, why? I can't do a leg one. So if you compare, yeah, that's A3, full A3. So that goes bang on the leg. So this should like crop leg on half, having top and bottom, blah, blah, blah. Just did some negative there. Some like nice shading, fades. And uh, keeping simple, clean. What I want to do more is like, what I need to do is get more black into my work. So I think adding more black will make it more stand out and make it more a bit cleaner, more powerful, more heavy, more, I don't know, 
I, I, I think you understand what I mean. I can't put art in words, you know, it's just not going to happen. So, what I've done here is to get this thick line, I did 0 0.8, just double lined and then colored in between. That's the actual size, that's doubled line. Um, 0 0.8, 0 0.5, I think, just because it's second line, it needs to be a bit smaller than the first one. 0 0.05. A little bit of pencil. I cheated on this one. I did a pencil shading and then I smudged with a finger. So that's how I get this smooth cheating. That doesn't count as not professional. Don't do like me, yeah? Same story with this one. What I wanted to do is adding more black to my work. As you see, you can see the same like pattern, bold outside, double the line there. But I think on this one I went the same size in both or oh, that 0 0.8 and that 0 0.5 because it's a small difference, can't really tell then I, I can't remember guys, forgive me. Yeah, adding more blacks, I just added more darker there. And um I think it looks quite cool. This design was more planned out for sides or two. So basically you got your tie, goes here straight from like hip bone to the knee and uh that's just for cheek for cheeky cheek some dot work remember guys that yeah, keep it clean even if it's dot work clean yeah that's a key for success keep it clean you can mess you can make messy as you want yeah but always clean clean mess yeah I know some of you guys get a messy rooms out there and it's a clean mess, but it's a mess. So sometimes I just like to do extras. This was a experiment, I would say. I want to do a flower and I want to do a snakes, but like I want to do a lot of black, but I didn't know how to do. So first I shaded like black in there did like outline of the snakes and then shaded that way outwards so you got white flower down there and then black like coming out from it but then I realized I think I did accidentally colored one of them all the way down I was like shit that looked quite good so I made all of them like that yeah this is one of them things where I say like you need to I would suggest maybe you don't need but I would suggest to like explore new styles you know like because the one you saw there, I would say it's ornamental, black work, who knows. No traditional rose, just rose, peony just turned into uh, black work tattoo style. And as you see, that's pure black work. So this is one of, this is one of the pieces where I would say like, you have to give yourself a try. Just go explore learn some new stuff, you're gonna like, the more tools you have, the better future you will be. You if you, you will understand what I mean. When I started drawing this one, I, I, I thought like, I didn't know what I'm doing, but I knew which way I wanna go. So there was like 50-50, I could fail, or I could succeed, there's no in between. Yeah, it can't look all right, it could look like shit, or it could look like this, brilliant. So sometimes you just need to give a go. And that's it. You can't keep yourself in a safe zone. Safe zone like doesn't exist. You just fail for yourself. All the hope, all the time you just put in, you just fail if you don't try. What I used on this one, I think all the way through, I'll put 0 0.05 marker. Not marker, but that fine line. As you see, when I did the snake with that. That was a long process, you know, guys. It was a long one. But I wanted to see how long it takes. To do so, if you're two artists, yeah, so that would be like three liner or a single line. It took ages, man. Don't try, mate. Don't try. Use it. Use your time for something else. Don't be like me, yeah. This piece was for my client. We lined it. We get as far as we get all the greens in. So his face and his hands are done already. All line, as you know, that's my mark. You see that somewhere online, that's me, yeah? that's this guy. So, 
it's a pretty cool story. And uh, die, that's his idea. I would never come up, I've only died, I'd put in the forehead. But like I said, die and all that stuff. But he said he didn't like the idea, he wanted to put like that there. And I think that's his idea is better than my idea. So sometimes teamwork, teamwork is the key. And what else am I going to say? When I say exploring styles, I mean it because all this like shading like down here, there, 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 and there comes from anime. So back in the days I was like, I was trying to start drawing so I took easiest way which was anime which is drawings to drawings, if that makes sense. So I still use it, you know, like all these shadows and stuff like that I still take from anime style into my this would be no traditional style of work, but the more tools you have, the better life you have, trust me. And I think it looks pretty cool. It explains where the light is, where the shadows is, where it carries on. It's just, it's that. Well, this is a bit busier than anyone else you have seen, probably. Well, I don't think I had any plans with this. I think I saw an image similar to this one and I wanted to make it like my version of it. So it looks like a busy piece when it's black and grey. But if you would turn this into colour, you would see a whole different picture. Because now the only way you can see the snake is following the pattern, which I put on purpose for you to see where really the snake goes. And I kept the roses quite simple. So for your eyes, it's really easy to see. The eyes itself, and that's well clean, that probably takes your attention straight, then it's this, then it's this, and then you see all this messy, whatever it is. But it's not the piece to be like in black and grey. That would be a failure. If you would keep this in black and grey and say it's finished, that's fail, that's done. Because your eyes are not able to like, see like that. So... I might colour this one day and um, then I'll call it finished. But as far as it goes, I think it goes quite cool. As you see, a rose goes there, goes there, then it comes out. One bud, couple buds, a big one, a bit leaves. But this needs to be in colour for your eyes to be able to see. I remember that. Not always every image could be black and grey or colour. All depends on a piece. This piece has to be in colour to be readable. So, yeah. As I say, I used a bit more pencils, shading. I used to be quite bad in like portraits and stuff. I couldn't get my head around it, but all this is freehand, no references, nothing. I just did it from my head. Same with the snakes, did all them with the head. My roses. You see them roses somewhere? That's me. Voila. Same story goes with this one. It's the... I went and put like more black into my work. So, I mean it. More black in there. Because you can see that one. That's quite light and that's how they used to be. But now I'm trying to like improve myself. Get more, more black in there so it stays for like longer and longer and longer on human skin. The more grey you do after like years and years and years, the grey fades and it just, it's not good. So I wanted to put more black in there. So I practice first on the paper and then on human skin, not like on the way around. So one peony, second one, circle, mandala. This probably would be a side piece, hip piece. It could go on forearm, but it's A3 size, so not really i think for this piece i took inspiration from one guy on instagram he just does some similar ones so i wanted to like try see how it works if it looks all right if it not does like it doesn't look like but i think it looks all right as you see same kind of pattern 0 0.8 that might be 0 0.1 and then them little ones are 0 0.05 just pure marker same with that, just marker get all the busy stuff, no point to do any 
big blacksmith small miners and stuff always some little details I love it the more details I can put in the more satisfied I feel if that makes sense so, yeah. remember guys yeah always detail clean perfect as you see middle goes there bang on so this is the fox design as you see I did quite light soft delicate maybe I could say mostly I use 0 0.05 for fine line details that looks a bit messy and I mean zoom in but yeah I used to struggle quite a lot with animals so I wanted like make myself draw some animals because I was I was really bad I couldn't get my head around because it, but I don't know when you are human and you draw human, you know what to expect. You know where the bones are, you know where the features is, where to look, where not to look, how to look. But when it comes to animals, like every animal are different, female and, and male are different. And the bone structure are different and it's not un, like it's not familiar to us, if that makes sense. So you need to know like what joints they have to make them joints, what muscles they have, what like... I don't know what curves the body curve so it was quite hard for me to get my head around that around animals but now the fox does look like a fox the flowers do like them flowers as they need to be and um, that's it sometimes you just have to make yourself to draw them otherwise you you just you're not able you're never gonna be if you just don't put yourself there and just do it if I remember co correctly, I did the whole thing with 0 0.05 fine liner just to make like it was the easiest way to get the texture to make hairy because it would like 0 0.05 is tiny so it allows you to do all this little tiny hair and I just carried on in the flowers and the flowers became really really soft so I get a soft pencil and uh, shade them soft but I still made the darks dark so when you look at it, you just it's way easier for your eyes to pick it, where to look, what's the what's happening. People who, who follow me on Instagram, they know like I do love scripts sometimes. And um I love the script, I love the flow. You know like I have big respect for these people who do graffiti. You know why? Because if you imagine, yeah, you got a letter P, it's just straight line here and a curve. That's it. That's P. Only two lines makes the letter. But graffiti artists are able to make art of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's dead, dead simple. Simple letters, few lines, but they make big pictures out of it. The big stories, the big flows. So, I always respect them. It's not like you take busy and just do busy. That's from like that to that easy, yeah? But when you take simple stuff and make it look good, make it look wonderful, catches your eyes, pays attention, then I just respect them, like. And uh, same me, like, I like to do a script because you kind of, you can play around. Like, you can fail easily. If it's not readable, if it's not like, if that letter doesn't look like that letter, like, you fail. It's like, probably you can't read this right now. But if I would say it says carpe, you can read C A R P E. Easy. Your brains are able to see now. These lines, as you see, that's my signature that goes everywhere on my pieces. I like the black strokes, black lines, black something. I don't know what they are. I got no name for them, but they were good. It's from the same story, Carpe, DM, but I was lazy to do DM, I just gave up on this one. It looks good as it is, I'm not doing anything else. This little piece was like a practice, so, I don't know, practicing flow, moth, rose, stem, adding some extras, stuff like that. Sometimes I don't really like jump into like 40 hour design, I just, I just like to play around, see what happens. If it comes out good, it comes out good. If it not, it's not, then it is what it is. And uh, 
Yeah, I think it's one of the pieces when you try to make yourself busy, but you're not really into it. So you like kind of you push yourself, but you know you're gonna fail anyway. So you're like, oh, oh well, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and maybe something will happen, and this is what happens, and oh well, uh, yeah, you just carry on. But it's good. So that you just need to clean your mind, and the more you draw, the more habitable it comes. Yeah, so you you feel like that's your job. You feel like you have to. You feel like you haven't done yet. You know, and that's really good. That's that's progress. The more you do, the better you're gonna be, and the more you're gonna make it as a habit, the better you're gonna be. So that's that's the way it goes. And again, deadlines, my lines. That's a little one for my customer. We to do that one already. It just flips around from left side to right side, but as you see, it goes with her body perfect, and that's the key. So simple, delicate, detailed. Overall, you can easily see the flow. That's a half of the drawing. As you see, it's a sternum piece. If you're a tattoo artist, you know already what you do, you got half and then you just scan it, take photo, whatever, flip it, get image. This is how we planned, this is the image I sent there, she was happy. There was no red, the red just means that's the shading what we're gonna add to. There you can see it's stenciled already, fits perfect, goes with the flow, every single inch is perfect. As you see, it just fits bang on. And that's the finished product. So from there to there. Easy. Probably it's not easy, it picks up the pixels from my tablet, but I think you understand the idea. You start with the half, you flip it, and then you get an equal both the same. That's a design as well for my customer. Actually, I just designed it and then my customer picked it. So, my rows, boom, 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 boom. See, the pattern of them black lines are turned into white lines, what became as a rows middles. So that's, that's how it goes. And there you see, finished the two in the middle of the chest. This design could go either this way or either that way. It look good both ways, but she picked it this way. And as you see from there to there. This one as well, 0 0.05 all the way through. Not any different marker. I quite like it, you know, I like the detailness. I like the tiny lines that this, it makes it the structure, makes it look more, I don't know. I think when it's too clean, too professional, too, too like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look natural. It doesn't look as it's supposed to be. It just looks like fake, sculpted. I don't know. It just, it doesn't look good. As you see that, it just, it looks more natural when it's done with tiny, tiny lines. That, then it would be done with like big, massive, bold lines, extremely clean, extremely perfect. I think this kind of works you it's better with few scratchy, messy, but clean lines what well, gives more more dimension and more structure and more uh, and a lot more texture I didn't have any big plans with this boy but it ha uh, it's one of them designs so you have to be full color like that probably fiery red then like orange, yellow, blue that would go dark blue so cold hot color next to each other you, you don't ever put two tones similar to each other next to each other yeah just forget about it. imagine a color circle yeah hot cold blah 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 all that story yeah so it has to be full color to be awesome looking piece but as a sketch as a design style it looks quite cool all i did was i think it was 0 0.1 or one, I don't know. And they just get pencil lines. Shade a bit with pencil. 
This was specifically designed for my customer. She walked in, she wanted an eye on an elbow, on an actual elbow, but I said, it's not gonna happen, never. I would never put like this triangle, perfect shape, plus the eye on a human elbow, because the skin just doesn't hold thing that good to keep this so clean to be perfect. So the actual elbow was down here. Eye was on a good skin, that's on a good skin, the elbow was on like, down there where we don't really need any details and stuff. Hopefully you can see, yeah, the elbow is down there, the eye perfect, that's there. We choose instead of this dark orange, we picked it a bit lighter. I don't know why, but that's... So this, again, it has to be extremely clean, precise. This was a rough sketch for me because I didn't really need it to do like really decent on the paper. That was more like to explain to my client what are we going to do, how are we going to do, what I'm planning, what I'm not, what color tones I like and stuff like that. So I can suggest you as well get like some really dark, light, coldish colors and then get some warms in there next to each other. So like that, blue, red, green, red, hot, cold, same story, orange is warm, blue is dark and cold again. Cold, hot, dark, light, warm, dark, all that story. So, this one is one more. A sketch for my client. She wanted a lady. The most important stuff for her was the dress. She wanted to make it more like flowy, but it seems like sexy, not too much, but not just perfect. So, I did some more peonies, some like roses. Because it was going on an arm on the shoulder, so I had to get some eye like, gap fillers and stuff like that. That's how it looks on her. The only thing is, she wanted like sketchy look. She didn't want to like get really clean, precise, extremely like HD pieces that is there. But that's what she wants. That's what she gets. Maybe you can see it's like dotty, whip shaded, but. She's happy, I'm happy, but the key for these kind of designs is you need to be like centric. Imagine that's middle of your arm or middle of the paper and then you just like get equal, yeah? You got centerpiece, you got this balancing this, this balancing this, that balances that, that balances that, that balances that and it wraps up back in the middle to the middle. This one just gives nice flow. That gives nice flow, and yeah. Wanted to add some like extras on her, so she's tattooed. A good composition makes good drawings. A quick sketch of uh, that Indian god. I totally forgot her name. I can't name it anymore. I don't know where I get this idea from, but I was really, really stoked. I was really excited. Then I get into it and I just lost the whole patience, the, lost the whole fire. So I just gave up on it and probably I will never ever carry on. But it's there. It reminds me. Maybe one day I'm going to find different image. I'm going to do some different drawing. Maybe get some inspiration. I'll do it. But for now, she stay as she is. I'm not touching it. And probably one day I'll just get a razor and just rub it off. Easy layout. Another design for my client, gypsy woman. I never did any gypsies before, so I was quite struggling to get, get like the correct clothes for them, because gypsies are gypsies, and you can you can draw a girl, you know, but to make the girl look like gypsy, no, you need to know specific what to do, how to draw, and blah blah blah, all that. So I learned. Quite a lot about them doing this design, made it nice and detailed. And uh, this customer, luckily for me, she didn't want any sketchy looking design, and uh, she wanted a really clean, crisp design. So, this is what we did. I don't know how good it is for you guys to see, but yeah. She wanted it a lot cleaner than the previous one I just showed you. 
update loads and loads of little details and again like the shading of this is the way I said like it's I took it from anime the way people shade an anime the way I did the shading I I rub it off I did the shading on this piece as well but I rub it off to make line drawing to make stencil to make this but here you can see I did exactly what anime people are doing so I'm taking information from them into my work making my tattoos looking better so if there's anything you want to find just go find learn new stuff new tools new information and your work will improve and the thing is like you don't need to worry about what to do how to do the information is out there there is loads of tutorials just go watch it trust me once it's in your head once you know it that's it you know it you know what to do that's your new step stone yeah and then you win then you win then you win then you win and then you can see what gap you made from there to there just a knowing few tricks a, a little information but it just carries you on higher and higher and higher and higher I tried some Japanese you know but I don't think I'm the guy for Japanese like I said I like to explore some styles so get my head into it but I don't know once I once I did this I kind of realized there's too much rules like there's these no no's and there's this yes and how to do in the correct way and this and that and I'm not the person who likes that you know like it's just not for me I like when it makes the flow as I want, placement as I want, it goes as I want, you're gonna have the eyes what I want, you're gonna have the whiskers as I want, you know it's gonna be all mine or none. I have a big respect for Japanese people you know all that art and stuff because it's one of the art forms what's been out there for thousands of years. It's not like tribal it comes and it goes, it's not like mandalas what comes and goes. But Japanese tattoos are there forever. They're concrete. They're gonna be there and they will be there. A little phoenix in my sketchbook, as you see, tiny. It's really, really hard to draw them, you know, because no one's ever seen a phoenix. It's a fairy tale, it's a legend. You know, it's myth mythological, how you say it. So it's quite hard to draw them and this is what I came up with. But at the same time it was like chest tattoo, so I didn't have that much space, she didn't want it to go really big. And uh, I did as I did, following her body shade from there into there, and the same here and following there. She didn't want to go really, really low, but I tried to like curve it, so it, it kind of follows the body shapes and follows there. and follows to the shoulder and then that goes inside there so yeah they're not easy ones give it a try to be honest I haven't done recently any full color ones I don't know somehow I've jumped into like black work and, and all the flower stuff and all the geometric stuff but I really really enjoy doing this kind of pieces full color crazy creative as I said I like to make my own rules my own decisions so if it's going to be there, it's going to be there. If that floats on top of it, that does. It's not like, yes, so there's no, there's right or wrong way. It's going to be my way or no way. So, so I'll tell you how I get these ones done. The way I shade them, like how to get more contrast, more dimension and all that stuff. All starts with flat color. That's why I do. I just get one tone. There was one red. One skin tone, one color green, one color red, one color this, this, this. So I kind of map myself out what tones gonna be, and on the, on top of them tones, I build next ones. Like that was the first one, that second. That was the first one, that second. So I just build it like darker, darker, darker. I start with the light ones because you can't go lighter. Yeah. So you start with light and you go darker. I'm not the person who starts with dark and goes to light. I do opposite. Because you you can always go darker, 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 darker. But there's no backwards. If you get what I mean. So I always start. Well, probably this was the first color. I get a really light tone. And then I just add a darker, add a darker, add a darker. 
Same here, get one tone, next tone, half tone, just black ends. Oh, there you can see better. Flat, dark, in the middle. So I always start with the lightest one, I get darker and I just do dark. Lighter to dark, light to dark. It works for me, easier for me to plan out, so I'm not like rushing to a too dark tone and I don't know what to do and how to get out myself. I just start from light, get darker, build it, build it, build it, till I feel like that's dark enough, I leave it, that's dark enough, I leave it, that's dark enough, I leave it, cool, all together, makes clean image, job done. This one was for my customer, this one went on the back, this is how it looked like, finished piece, and uh, the only thing what we changed was we took these off. Because I didn't want it to go there, I wanted to make down the spine. So you got central, and then dark ends, dark sides. So that's the. I think I did pretty much the same. Went with 0 0.05 all the way through, dotted the middles, get some texture, get some details. So that's, that's one of them. I think this was one of the pieces where I just take my time to just play around, really. I kind of gave up on this, then I added more, added thicker lines, made it more clear, more readable, more stand out, added more blacks, but no one's ever picked yet, if you do, if you do like it then you can book in, I'm, you, I, I'm going to put Instagram link, so it's going to be easier for you to find or email or something like that, but yeah. As I say, I love detail. I like adding all these little tiny lines. It does take time, but it looks good and it has to look good. As you see, every little piece I do, they're clean, readable, from miles away. You can stand across the city, you're still gonna understand what that is. And that's the key for the success. If you look at it and you can't see what that is, you just scroll to the next one. And I think I'm gonna finish this video with this piece. So I like them lines, made like a frame. The trick for this one was actually the boobs. Because the boob shape makes the eye shape for the skull. And I just put bottom jaw. I don't know why I put these there. Totally forgot, don't know. But I did these candles, so that makes nice frame. So your eyes are pointed here, then you kind of notice the school, then you notice this, then you notice this, and then you realize there's big black frame and horns and stuff like that. So I trick you, the way I design is I make you see what I want you to see. So it's not just you looking there, or you looking here, or you looking there. You look at it here, and boom, you see that, you see the girl, you see do do So I make you see what I want you to see, if that makes sense. Yeah, 0 0.05, 0 0.8, little details, pencil, this time a black pencil as a black color, not just gray, I'm making it dark. Added the horns just for the little detail, my lines, my shades, my roses, and overall, I'm happy, I like it. It was a good fun, there was no intentions to like, go crazy with it or go crazy detail, it was a fun piece, I enjoyed myself and... It was a good time. Sometimes you just need to sit down and draw for your fun. Don't plan to be like a master. Don't plan to be... To get like Da Vinci kind of level piece. Just make yourself happy. So that's the key. You know, like you can't draw for anyone else. You can't draw for your mistress. You can't for it. You draw because you want to draw. You want to draw happy. So draw whatever you want to draw. Draw whatever you want to how you wanna, where you wanna, what flow you wanna, it's all about you. Don't think what I'm doing, don't think how others are doing, just get a pencil, get a paper, whatever comes from your heart, the way you line them, the way you shade them, and keep it going. Improve yourself, make yourself better, but never stop being you. Yeah. Only these people who stand up for themselves and walk their own way are successful. And you 
gotta be successful or not even starting the game.